Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yes, I know it's been a while. I was busy lately uh, with a lot of functions and uh, now I'm back and I will be making regular videos now. So, first of all, I'd like to uh, make a very quick announcement and that is uh, we have decided to get clips from you guys, uh, the subscribers of Hexa United. You can submit your clips to us and we will be uploading them as a separate video. We can even do reaction video or we can do best moments video uh, it's depending upon the clips that you guys send us so how we are going to do that is through a website called file mail and uh, you can just uh, search that up on google and you will find it and there you will be able to upload your video and then you will get a link so you can share the link to me uh, on discord dm so you can dm the link directly to me on discord uh, if you haven't joined our discord server already, uh, please make sure to join. Uh, the link will be there in the description, okay? So just upload your, your clip in file mail and then send the link to me. And I will collect all of your videos and make a separate video uh, just for all the clips that you guys send us. And now with that out of the way, today's video is going to be a full gameplay of Kriknak. Yes, uh, he got buffed recently and he is like one of the best assassins in my opinion right now. Especially against Yon. So in this uh, video, I'll be giving you a lot of tips on how to play Kriknak. He's a bit harder to play than Zephyr, who is considered the other uh, like solid, straightforward assassin. And so watch the video till the end and you'll get a lot of tips on how to use one of the easiest yet most valuable assassins in the game. Starting off, you can see that the opponents have picked Dion. They have banned Alistair, uh, Illumia, UV, Zata was banned by me and then Grack and uh, Tulan. Since we didn't have the first pick, I didn't ban. Uh, I did ban Zata. And then here I was thinking what I should pick against Yon. Uh, initially I was thinking about Florentino, but then realized that if it goes to late game, Yon is going to shred me down. So I thought, okay, let's just go for Kriknak. And the reason why I picked Kriknak against Yon is that uh, Yon is going to kill a Florentino an Arthur and a Kriknak the same way in the late game. You all know about Yon, right? His burst damage is going to be like true damage and he is going to just one shot no matter who the enemy is. So what you have to... Uh, what you need is you have to one shot him before he can even do any damage. So that is why Florentino won't work against him and that is why most of the assassins don't. Uh, like for example if you are Wukong and if you are going to attack Yon there is a slight chance that he can use his second ability and push you off, right? But that won't happen in the case of Kriknak because you can just fly towards him and then use your ult from far away and you're just going to instantly one-shot him. Uh, with Wukong, you need at least two shots to kill Yon and uh, he might push you back uh, before your second shot but uh, it's not the case with uh, Kriknak. And also Zuka has the same problem, you have to use your dashes to go close to him uh, while he can just push you off and then burst you down. So that is uh, the reason why I picked Kriknak and also the same case for Quillen, uh, I guess Nakot uh, has no chance against uh, Yon in the late game but Quillen gets pushed back uh, by Yon as well making it impossible for him to kill him. So this is the reason why I picked Kriknak and our team composition is solid. We have uh, Veras to dive in with us to be some sort of a distraction for at least a split second. The opponents have uh, Butterfly, Tachi. I don't know about Tachi, he is like the worst hero, one of the worst heroes in the game right now, maybe next to Moran. Um, I don't know about you guys in AOV, uh, maybe uh, Tachi works well with uh, who's that support, Aya. But we don't even have Aya here, so Tachi is just useless. Okay, so the opponent's butterfly is Kanu Satija, he has been playing butterfly for 4 years, ever since I know him guys. Trust me, even from uh, India server, like uh, in 2018, he was playing uh, Butterfly in a tournament against us. Back in the day when we were uh, called Hell Noobs, our team ta had the HN tag instead of the HU tag, Hexa United that we have now. Uh, we were facing a tournament against these guys four years back and he was playing Butterfly. And also he is legendary Butterfly in uh, COT also. Okay, so you know he is a proficient player now. So this is going to be an interesting match and in that tournament they did win against us. They were the ones who won the match, we lost against them. So let's see. Um, 
Okay, so Stanch is playing Baldoom. Baldoom is also a very good choice against Yarn guys because without Flicker, Yarn has no way of ex escaping from Baldoom's ultimate, right? Only if you have Flicker, you will be able to use it at the perfect time and dodge Baldoom's ultimate. If Baldoom locks on his ultimate on Yarn, he is definitely going to be buried. So Baldoom is also a very solid counter to Yarn in my opinion. Uh, even in the late game, if Baldoom just uh, Baldoom's ultimate is also a ranged ability, right? So he can just use it from range. Just use it on Yarn, bury him, and then uh, jump on him and kill him. So that is why I asked uh, Staunch to pick uh, Baldoom here. And yeah, St uh, Baldoom is one of uh, the strongest picks of Staunch as well. Okay, let's see if we can get a kill. Okay, I'm just going to dive in anyways uh, because Tachi was almost okay. What? Why is he trying to flicker and fight me? Okay, I'm just going to kill Tachi here. Uh, this is what you should do with Kriknak guys. Don't play safe. You might think that it is a dumb death. But I got the first blood. Uh, which means I get more gold than an usual kill. And with Kriknak it doesn't even matter. You have to snowball the game onto victory. That is your whole point. So even if I didn't jump in and die there. I was just going to go back to the blue buff, right? So instead of going there without doing anything, I just killed him and then came all the way back to the blue buff. Okay, here I almost died, but I used punish to get a kill on butterfly. Like if I died there, uh, she would have instantly jumped on Demetrix uh, Violet and killed him also. So as you can see here, uh, we did 70% damage to Yawn in the early game itself. Just one shot. And uh, that is how strong he is. You will see uh, later in the game how easily we are able to kill the enemies. But unfortunately for us, I think yeah, Lumber pushed us into the enemy tower and uh, Veera stunned us. So that is why we died. But it doesn't matter. Like I said with Kriknak, even if you die, just don't lose your gold advantage. You will never see a Kriknak playing without even dying once. Uh, in my opinion, that's not how you should play Kriknak. You are like... Um, you, you have to be the hyper aggressive assassin who just jumps at any enemy he sees because you can one shot them always and uh, did you see that guys since Yan didn't have flicker when Baldum used his ult on Yan he was uh, basically dead uh, if there was someone to back up Baldum he was basically dead but since there, uh, there wasn't any uh, he was just buried there so this is why I said uh, Baldum is very good against Yan Okay, um, our second jungle clear is almost over and I'm at level 7 now and the mid lane wave will be coming soon. Okay, Tachi is there to clear it, clear his wave. Okay, okay that's not how you fight Tachi. Yeah, like see this guys, I'm not even like, Tachi isn't even a threat anymore. Uh, like uh, he used to be very strong, his uh, shield, his scaling, everything used to be like tremendous he is like he used to be like one of the uh, unkillable warriors of the game but then uh, something happened i guess and uh, now he is useless okay so uh, let's get uh, the dragon because they got the dark slayer in the previous uh, rotation okay that was a very quick dragon okay i told demetrix to jump in here because uh, since veera used her heart on me um, if Demetrix comes in he won't die there uh, you saw that he had like 10% of HP right and I had like 25% and since I baited uh, Veera to use her heart on me her ult and her first ability won't be enough to kill Demetrix if both of us engage on uh, her now and also if you guys didn't know if Veera uses her heart on someone all her uh, ultimate uh, like bats attack like prioritize attacking that enemy so that is how we are able to kill Veera there and then you saw how much damage we did to Yon right like I just touched him I didn't even have my ultimate just first ability and auto attack his HP gone by 50% okay here I died and look at that insane lifesteal for uh, butterfly guys she almost died we almost killed her but uh, I died and her third ability passive gives her uh, HP back, right? So that is how she got back so much HP and she was able to escape. But Varus jumped in and finished her off and also Veera is... Okay, yeah, Veera is also dead. 
but still even after we uh, died three times we have the most gold in our team which is all that matters when you play cricknack just don't die and go behind on gold than everyone uh, dying for one or two kills in the early game is not going to be uh, that big of a deal especially when your jungle is uh, empty like at the end of uh, your jungle rotation you can surely engage and uh, risk your life and fight because we are not going to do anything else anyways okay now we are invading okay i really appreciate the courage of butterfly but that's just too much i thought she was just going to run inside the tower but she just went in and cleared the minions that was really disrespectful towards me so that is why like that was what i said uh, told demetrix uh dude look at her <laughs> she isn't even running into the tower after she saw all of us she's just out there clearing waves like a boss okay okay so this is our uh, fourth jungle rotation yeah i think it's our third jungle rotation we are already at level 10 okay probably our fourth then i i lost track of it guys okay uh he is dead okay i tried to kill lumber but uh, he saw me and instantly dashed away now i'm not going to waste any time i'm just going to go back to the red side of our jungle because it's already up and it's not worth engaging and dying now because our jungle is up so don't always try to suicide uh, engage um <laughs> only do that when your jungle is empty okay now we have cleared our jungle now it's time to fight it doesn't matter if we die or not we have to fight here as cricknack guys okay lumber wasted is ultimate basically okay veera came in but i don't think that was enough to kill okay look at <laughs> look at that one shot guys this is why you need gold but if you didn't if i didn't have gold there i wouldn't have been able to do that okay three easy kills a okay, nice tanking by baldum there under the tower uh, enabling us to get all three of those skills uh, the butterfly kill was the most satisfying one because it showed how much of a one shot assassin cricknack is she just died 75% of her H hp gone in one shot and this is what would happen to yon as well if cricknack comes into uh, into contact because he's just going to one shot yon uh, it's not going to be uh, difficult in any ways and also guys there is a very important tip that you should know as cricknack after you ult you have to use your ult again to attack the enemy right so let's just say you are targeting a yon fly towards him and see if he's uh, using flicker or not don't just instantly jump on them fly towards them and out of panic they will flicker and after they use their flicker you have to jump on them okay so don't be hasty and try to instantly jump on them and waste your uh, ultimate because if they dodge it they will just uh, burst you down with uh, their auto attacks okay so that is something that you should keep in mind okay i'm coming from behind okay i was going to jump at the first person i see and i was also worried about uh, veera's third ability oh, okay yeah. yeah i don't think i die here okay that was too much for lumber he tried to chase me yeah now he is dead yes so <laughs> tanks don't try to uh, uh, like chase uh, cricknack because he will just one shot you he is like a true damage hero without true damage he doesn't have any form of true damage but his uh, percentage damage with his first ability feels like true damage and tanks just get one shot by it okay and uh, the very low cooldown look at the cooldown of our ultimate guys it's just 7 seconds so that makes him one of the most mobile uh, assassins in the game in par with uh, on par with nakroth so he can just like kill the dragon and then ult out continue our jungle and see the ultimate cooldown it's just 8 uh, seconds now and that is because we don't have the sage buff if we have that our cooldown will be at uh, 40% which means our ult cooldown will be like 6 or 7 seconds only so he also has one of the fastest jungle clears in the game uh, which is why he is uh, he can be played really aggressively a uh, nice camping by butterfly and tachi here uh, i didn't even expect it in the slightest form um, but still we were able to 
deal like 90 percentage of damage to butterfly before i die before we died and uh, veras was able to finish finish her off okay let's see yeah yan has uh, started dealing damage okay, i don't know about that trixie okay wait we are with demetrix and stance right okay so it's a trio cube yeah demetrix is dead well played by tachi there he dodged the uh, baldoom's ultimate with his ultimate okay we are back seven kills and four deaths uh, and also try to keep your kills more than your deaths just because i said play like a suicide bomber doesn't mean you have to die like 10 times and get five kills in that case your gold will be like the low lowest in your team <clears throat> okay i'm going to target tachi now since he is alone okay ha, what what was that guys did you did you see what happened to tachi there and just now i'm getting fenrir's tooth imagine uh, me having fenrir's tooth before that okay so since i killed tachi and since i'm threatening to take this tower i am like uh, lay, laying siege to this tower the enemies will now retreat instead of trying to push in the middle lane so that is my plan there i mean my plan here okay i got this tower also and as you can see in the map they have retreated from the mid lane so they are probably coming towards me and i don't care i got a tower and uh, a kill and two waves of minions so me dying here isn't going to be any problem but that is why i'm camping here like to see if someone comes alone i can just one shot no matter who it is okay, since no one did come i'm just going to okay so we met tachi again and he is trying to like okay what what okay yeah he used flicker but we did uh, deal our damage before baldoom locked him up and uh, yeah when he when it opened up veras finished him off okay let's see if we can engage here yeah this is what i was uh, worried about uh, veera's heart that is going to be uh, the biggest problem for me in the late game because she can just one shot me and especially since uh, i am a squishy assassin uh, it's going to be the same case as uh, murad nakroth or uh, zuka wukang anyone veera is going to just use her uh, second ability stun third ability and uh, we'll be dead <coughs> in the late game especially so need to watch out for that uh, for sure uh, that is what i did instead of just randomly going in and jumping i like poke my head in and then came out and uh, instantly she used her heart so either you do that and bait her second ability or you let some of someone else in your team go and bait that ability okay that's one shot that's the definition of one shot guys and now lumber is so mad how dare you kill my girl okay i'm going to come back again and poor yan see this is what i said yan won't even be able to react guys yan wouldn't even be able to react by the time uh, he knows that you are there he will be already dead because it's just one shot i don't even need any other ability to finish him off just alt and auto attack he will be dead and uh, yeah don't forget the first ability while flying use your first ability to lock on to him and then your alt and auto attack he'll be dead <clears throat> and uh, exactly what i said happened veera used all three of her abilities and i died but uh, before we died we killed butterfly and yon uh, which is like the best trade egg you can hope for okay so we have 10 kills and 5 deaths now okay so we are back and a fight has already started I'm just going to go in. Okay, nice ultimate by Baldoom. He buried three. I'm just going to kill Lumber and get away from there. Yeah, I'm not even going to stand there for more than a second, guys, uh, because it's Yawn Butterfly and Vira. The most, uh, the biggest problem for me there is Vira, because uh, she'll just be spamming her second ability if she sees me, and uh, if I get stunned, instant death. It's like Valheim stun, but uh, a longer stun than that, and also a stun that deals. more damage than valheim stun and yon it will be very easy for yon to kill me if i get stunned <coughs> okay poor decision by the enemies to fight there in my opinion and uh, look at how fast we are getting this layer me and uh, violet okay tachi tried to steal it and ended up dying to our first ability small insects and yeah i think that's going to be the game who's alive 
okay lumber is alive because we killed him first and then veera died right okay so veera is alive now and it's not going to matter because i'm just going to jump in anyways i have the blade of eternity right so i'm not going to worry about getting uh, stunned by veera anymore and also my teammates will jump in with me okay, i got that kill also before the match ended nice so our kill total will be like 14 right so so to summarize everything that i said in this match play very aggressive like hyper aggressive the most aggressive that you can ever play uh, play like how you will play wukong when you are fully built because even from the early game crit max damage will be very high you saw how we did 50 percentage of damage to yon at level 6 just with our first ability and auto attack so that is how you should play crit max and also don't hastily engage with your ultimate all the time wait for the enemies to use their dash abilities and then jump on them so that's going to be it for today's video guys i hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful and if you did make sure to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button share your clips to me on file mail and i'll see you guys in the next video